Hey guys, I decided to do a commentary today. Um, I will be using commentary on my next guide. For today though, we'll be looking at the new tool belt here. I've already gone ahead and uh, added some tools in here. Mainly farming supplies, rake, all that. Now, there's a lot of advantages to this. Um, one being, when I harvest a herb patch, I don't have to have the spade in my inventory. All I have to have is the spade in my tool belt. This, uh, this gives me more space in my inventory f for in case I get a really lucky herb patch and get like 20 herbs. Alright, so uh, I wanted to test a few things with this new tool belt. One, I forgot to add my saw. Second, I uh, wanted to see if these go in there. It looks like they cannot. And same with the Dwarven Army Axe, you cannot add this to the tool belt. Um, both of those would be great to have in the tool belt. But, you know, the tool belt's already, like, ridiculous in the way it is. Um, one more thing I would like to test is to see if I could use this hammer to open Bandos' door. Because, um, when you put the shovel into your tool belt, it, it does warn you, saying you'd have to have a spare shovel if you were to use it on something like, um, barrows. So I wanted to go ahead and test that with the hammer on bandos. So we'll see when we get to the door. Alright, so here we are. Um, and yes, it does work on the door. don't have an hammer, hammer in my inventory, but I do have one in the tool belt. So, where is it? Right there. Right. So that's cool. I was wondering if you take this out. I guess not. What did I see? So once you put a tool in there, I guess it's got to stay in there. And you can only put uh, bronze items in for the hatchet and the pick. So I thought I should show you guys the new loyalty shop. There you got a whole bunch of new ores. New everything really. I don't know about titles. Uh, they got, you can recolor some new things. The Slayer Helm is new in the Ring of Stone. So I'm pretty sure the Ranger Boots are new as well. Um, they also have a few things that uh, special offers I guess. Um, yeah, none of these are great, so I wouldn't really advise buying any of this. You can see I don't have a lot myself, because I decided to buy the Greater Reverence, which is really a ripoff, yeah. Um, don't suggest that, it's, I don't know, I mean it's better, but I think something that would be a lot better than that would be using something like the Vampirism, or... Where is it? Penis. Penis was a great one. I, uh, that's probably going to be my next one myself. So, they also got a whole bunch of new emotes. The emotes are always cool. They're quite ridiculous here. Um, yeah, that one looks cool right there. So, that's the new loyalty shop. Also, um, they have the new money bag here. So, you can store money in here. When you withdraw it from the bank, it goes in here instantly. As far as I can tell, anyways. So and then you can withdraw go with 3M. Yeah, I don't got a whole lot of money. Um, and then you just right click add a pouch and it puts it in there. Yeah, they got a nice uh, animation saying how much you put in there too. So that, that's very nice and um, if you die while having money in your money pouch you do not lose it no matter where you are. So um, th that's very nice addition. Um, I don't know why you really bring money into the wilderness though. <laughs> And if you were to die with money before, uh, you, would, you would still keep it. So, that's cool, but the main reason I think this update is significant is the fact that it's going to be saving more inventory space. So like, let's say if you were to go to Bandos and you didn't really feel like looting the coins, um, you really, there's no reason not to now, because he, dr he drops them in amounts of like 20k at a time. And that can't add up, unless you... You're like born for PVM or something and got a four bill bank. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, I do hope you enjoyed. I'll try and uh, improve my commentary. I know it's not the greatest. So uh, I'll see you next time.